Hey guys, Photo Bubble here, and did you see that? It feels a bit smoother. This update is uh, a lot of bug fixes and optimizations. Do you remember how it was before? <laughs> so we have our fire going here, and with update 70, stews now provide greater bonuses. So a little bit more worth to do. Uh, I still like to eat meat like crazy, but when you're in hard mode, I'll add something later that might change you wanting to do a stew more often. We're gonna go get some water and enjoy that animation they added very recently. Now don't forget to add water to your stew. Otherwise, when you come back, it's burnt. It burns so quickly, so be careful. Now we have our water here and we're gonna cook it. And we're gonna get our water skin out and take it, but in a little bit. So let's go and find those pebbles. As you see, there's a lot less. There's not like five on the screen at once. And there's a hold button. So when you run around, you're not picking up a pebble on accident when you wanted your spear or whatever. That's a very nice change. Throw it out of fire, very important. With our water skin, we can take the water out of the water pot now. So if you don't have a uh, turtle shell that's active or available, that's pretty nice. They made a change to how water damage works. Uh, we have a greatly accelerated time. And you can see it built up there, that nice solid red bar that's gonna tell us where we take our damage. And even with such an acceleration, it's pretty manageable. Keep in mind, in hard mode, that's gonna be more damage. So, uh, yeah, be careful. A hard survival, I think, yeah. Still quite manageable. Now, one of the things they added is when you eat dried meat, 5% in normal and 20% in hard survival, which you can barely see. Uh, normal and hard is different than hard survival. But the 5%, what? <laughs> They did a flashlight uh, animation when you pick up a story item. So you can pull out your flashlight and it'll automatically point it to what you're holding. That's pretty cool. In the caves you could normally not see an item, now you can. I just want to warn there are some spoilers ahead. I will give another warning when we're much closer. Uh, but just keep that in mind if your phone's far away from you or something. You can now destroy these mushroom logs. That yeah, physics so much is cool. When you add mushroom poison to your axe, you can actually see it now, uh, but it still disappears in one hit. The AI on candles makes it so they don't gang up on you as much. I have God mode on if you're wondering why I don't get hit. But they kind of take turns now, so if you can get them all organized into a direction, it's a, it's a bit easier. Uh, I mean, they're still gonna hit like a truck if you're in hard mode, but it's, it's a bit easier to fight a large group now, rather than get stun locked. So I wanted to uh, show the smoothness because it was kind of difficult to figure like, so this is a lot of uh, changes that make the game load better. Uh, they made multiple threads like, uh, normally I would have a slight catch occasionally going this fast and the bitrate's probably gonna get really messy on YouTube, but yeah, it's, it's pretty smooth, quite optimized. People should feel a difference. There is a uh, nice animation for going in and out of underwater caves now. Uh, this should help get in and out. Uh, there was a little bit of a loading there, but uh, now it should be easier. You're less likely to get stuck because it's going to push you through nice and smoothly. Make sure the loading happens. Uh, I, I want to warn that there's some story lore going to be uh, the end of the game kind of shown here. There's a change to add a little bit of dialogue. So if you want to stop, stop now. And uh, we're going to proceed in a second, so make sure you're stopped. Okay, here we are. My next guest is a TV star, author, and real life plane crash survivor. Here to talk to us about his new book, Rescue, along with his son, Kim. Please, give it up for Eric LeBlanc. Thank you. 
Not done yet, though. Just in case somebody hasn't seen this last bit. There you go, that's the end. Woo, and this, the sound's kind of hard to hear, but I don't think they really intended it to be clear. Uh, that's a lot of the major changes of Update 70. Just to add though, there was a bunch of controller changes, including a vibration for uh, the chainsaw and stuff like that. So if you're a big controller fan, make sure to check out the settings and set up your controller appropriately. Uh, loads and loads and loads of fixes and a lot of optimization. The cave should be better, outside should be better, uh, probably will help servers as well. Uh, although some of that was kind of uh, graphic side. But anyways, everything should just run better. This is kind of a touch and polish every single thing, which is pretty cool. So the next update, as you can see, is in 23 days from when I uh, made this. So I'm quite on time. I was just busy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to add, because some, some people were a little upset. It looked like the ending was really happy. And they were like, no, 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 or whatever. Um, just keep in mind that he had this this reaction this time. That doesn't mean there's there can't be any more. Maybe he's trying to stop it, like an asthma attack, you know? And occasionally asthma attacks go too far, or you know, you don't have your inhaler, you didn't have your dad there to calm you down, something like that. So if you wanted it to be sad, it still could be sad. And if you wanted it to be happy, then just go with what you saw. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and an awesome Thanksgiving if you're into that. Otherwise, you know, great thank, great, great Thursday. Good one. <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs>